Welcome to another Click Consulting video podcast. My name is Jeff, and thank you for joining our Excel University series. Please grab a copy of the book and download the sample file so you can work along. This video provides the solutions to the skinny row exercises. In this exercise, we'll set up a skinny row and a subtotal function. Select any cell in the row you'd like to format. Select row height from the format icon. Change the row height to 4. Now write the subtotal function and be sure to include the skinny row in the range. Now let's insert a new row and ensure that the subtotal function will include it. We enter a value into the new row and note that our total updates as expected. In this exercise, we'll insert a skinny row before each subtotal. Insert a new row and change the row height to 4. Write the subtotal function and be sure to include the skinny row. Now fill it to the right. On this next one, I'll show the keystrokes. Now, I'll quickly finish out the exercise. And lastly, I'll spot check the subtotal functions and make sure they include the skinny rows. In this exercise, we'll name a range that includes a skinny row. Start by creating a skinny row under the data table. Next, select the amount column and include the skinny row. Next, enter AMT underscore data into the name box and press enter. Use this name in the sum function. Note how the skinny row is included in the sum range. Insert a new row, enter a value, and note how the total updates is expected. In this exercise, we'll set up a skinny column. Select any cell in the column and then choose column width from the format icon. Set the column width to 2. Now, write the total formula and be sure to include the skinny column. And then fill the formula down. Insert a new column for May and verify that May values are included in the total. Note that the total formulas include the new column. This video is a production of Click Consulting.